e-bike maniacs. Let's learn about volts and how many volts are left after you use your battery and watt hours and amps and get all that figured out. All right, what happens to volts as you ride your bike? What's the capacity of your battery, et cetera, et cetera? All right, so first of all, volts never change, all right? Volts are always the same. If you have a 48 volt battery like this one, it's always gonna be 48 volts because volts just measures potential. It's like water pressure. A lot of times people use the analogy of water going through pipes to describe electricity going through wires, okay? And the volts is how much oomph, how much power or potential is behind that electrical current. The same thing as if you had a water tower that was pressurized to say, let's say 48 PSI. Well, this one, to use the analogy, is at a pressure, so to speak, of 48 volts. So that pressure never changes. It always stays constant. And that's, that's the pressure that is forcing the electrons through the wires at, um, you know, at a certain current, okay? The amps are the current. And so you'll be adjusting the amount of amps that you're using as you throttle the bike or as you change your pedal assist. So that's what kind of varies things. Now, what's actually happening to the capacity of your battery? How is that measured? That's gonna be measured in kilowatt hours, okay? Well, you can also call it watt hours. Obviously, a kilowatt is 1,000 watts. Um, this battery has 500 watt hours, so it's about a half a kilowatt hour, and will uh, last you, you know, typically about 25 miles, depending on how you're riding and what you're doing. But when you're looking at the, at the um, display here, and it's kind of trying to calculate your, uh, how much range you have left and how much battery capacity you have, it's measuring kilowatt hours. It also factors in uh, how hard you're riding, if there's a headwind or if you're going uphill or uh, depending on your weight, how much, uh, you know, accelerating, how much uh, energy it's taking to accelerate the total mass, you and the bike. So, but anyway, volts never change. I just want to clear that up. If it's a 48 volt battery, it's always a 48 volt battery, whether the battery is dead or completely full. Amps will vary as you are using the bike, using the throttle, and then the capacity, the kilowatt hours in the battery is, uh, is what um, is actually being depleted as you're using it, mostly by uh, whether you're using more power, namely using more amperage, because also the, uh, the motor is 500 watt. So if you have it at full power, it should be drawing uh, as much as it can from the battery, that 10.4 uh, amps and powers. All right, I hope that clears things up a little bit. You don't need to get too technical about it. It gets a little confusing, but usually the water analogy is the most helpful one. I truly hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked it, please do like it and hit subscribe. It helps grow our channel. And if you need any help at all, please contact us. You can call us at 310-982-2877 or email us at theteam at 630.com. Remember, 630 is spelled out, S-I-X-T-H-R-E-E-Z-E-R-O. The team at 630.com. Thanks.